Human alone is never enough, no matter how hard you try or what you achieve. I just love that sentence. I loved it so much I wrote, wow. <laughs> <laughs> See, I wrote, wow. <laughs> Human alone is never enough, no matter how hard you try or what you achieve. Then there is being. It is found in the still, alert presence of consciousness itself. The consciousness that you are. Human is form, being is formless. Human and being are not separate, but interwoven. Yeah. That's the essence to me of this chapter. Yes, and one could say the essence of the whole teaching in a way, it's yes. one way of putting it. Uh, so, and of course, Human alone is never enough, no matter how hard you try or what you achieve. And that is the essence of why people are in such suffering and such struggle and such, you know, angst against themselves in life, is it not? And it's why they play roles, because the ego plays roles, because there's unawareness that within you there is the source of all power. So people who are out of touch with the power within or the place where all power resides, the aliveness itself, consciousness itself, then they feel a sense of lack. Why are they not in touch with it? Because they are not present. They are not in the present moment because the present moment is the entry point into that place of power within. If you're not present, mm -hmm. you don't realize that there is a source of power within, and then you believe that you need to get secondary power from someone or some situation or other people. Then you, the ego plays roles to manipulate the environment and other people to get what it thinks it needs, not realizing that all the things that it thinks will give it the power that it seems to lack, all that is already within you if you could only be present in the now. I got it. <laughs> okay, so the question is how not to lose ourselves in the human dimension. How not to, by being present in the now. Yes, and by realizing that whenever you lose yourself, realize In the human dimension. In the human. That's all the stuff that, be, that, being, that being human brings with it. Yes, the, on the most primordial level, losing oneself means losing oneself in that continuous stream of thinking that goes yeah. through people's heads. You know what I found by doing this? I don't know about all the rest of you, but I have found by being more present, just doing that one exercise, putting yourself, if I'm walking along a path in the woods near my house, be there and not be, you know, in my head thinking yes. about what I need to do, just to be there. And what I found is, I don't know if you all are realizing this too, you are just less stressed.